So there was this person called Satoshi Nakamoto. This person created Bitcoin, the beloved cryptocurrency, the biggest cryptocurrency, the one that's been around for a long time to transfer digital currency, to make purchases using digital currency. But the strange thing is that nobody actually knows who Satoshi Nakamoto actually is. No one's been able to identify the person who actually created Bitcoin. But there are now these rumors going around that they may have actually found the identity of the person who created Bitcoin. And it may be somebody that you've heard of. Somebody that has created a lot of other technology items. Somebody that I liked and admired a fair bit. I loved his design work and he created some great products. Who was that person? Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple. Before we talk about that, here is today's tech fail. You know, on the theme of Apple, there was this thing called Apple Pippin. Did you actually hear about this? But Pippin was Apple's version of a gaming console. They wanted to get into the gaming console market. Released in 1996 and it was designed to be an affordable entry level gaming system. It could also be used for other things such as using videos and photos and things of that nature. Web browsing, email, but then it failed, crashed and burned. You know other gaming consoles around that time that were sort of starting to come up were like the Xbox, PlayStation, you had Nintendo, and this thing came in at a very hefty price point, also had very limited games available, which sort of didn't really help. You wanted a gaming console, but there was no real good games that were available for this thing. Wasn't a whole lot of good hardware inside of the unit. And now why didn't you hear about it? Because poor marketing. Now, if you think about Apple, Apple is probably the leader and Apple's so popular because they are one of the leaders when it comes to making things really desirable that people want. And how long did it last? 10 years? Five years? No. One year it was out and then it crashed, it burned, and it was gone forever. So before we talk about this theory about uh, Steve Jobs being the guy who created Bitcoin, let's talk a little bit about the history of Bitcoin. Essentially it's a digital currency, right? You don't need physical money, you don't need credit cards. It operates completely independent of banks, which makes it really, really easy to use which means that it's completely decentralized, allowing for more secure anonymous transactions. Created around 2009, that's created by an unknown person that went with a name of Satoshi Nakamoto. Was it a real name? Was it a pseudonym? Did this person even exist? Was it a group of people? Was it a company? No one actually knows. And of course, since then, it's gained a whole lot of popularity as a meaningful way to pay. Now let's parallel this to the rumors that are floating around that it may have actually been Steve Jobs, that this person may actually have been Steve Jobs. It sounds crazy, right? That Steve Jobs, the guy who created the Mac, who created the iPhone, all these amazing products could have been the person that actually created Bitcoin. Bizarre, isn't it? But did he actually do it? Was he the guy? Now, why do people think this? Somebody actually found a document, a white paper that outlines what Bitcoin is and the process and the benefits of using Bitcoin embedded in every single Mac. So since Mojave in 2018, every single Mac has actually come shipped with a PDF copy of Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin white paper. And you could ask yourself, why does this document actually exist on the Mac in the first place? And in a hidden location, I looked for it and I found it. And what's a little bit odd is that Satoshi seems to have now vanished off the internet around the same time that Steve Jobs actually passed away. Coincidence? But then at the same time, this white paper didn't appear on the Mac until several years after Steve Jobs' death. So, I mean, you wonder if he's the one who actually created it, did he sort of tell all of his Apple engineers, hey, in seven years time, after I'm dead, please start posting this PDF on every single Mac. He may have instructed somebody to do it later on as a prank, as a, here's a little hidden Easter egg within every Mac. I'm the guy, I made Bitcoin. I mean, ultimately the presence of this Bitcoin white paper isn't evidence of anything, right? It doesn't actually mean that Steve Jobs is the creator of Bitcoin. But it is a bit of a mystery, isn't it? So where do you find this? Open up your terminal window. On the Mac, you can find this inside the spotlight. Type in terminal right there. You can open it up through your finder under the applications area. There's terminal right there. And in here, we're gonna throw in this command. It's a hidden PDF at this location. Throw in this command. I'll also put this down below in the video show notes. And there you go. You open it up and here is a PDF with a whole bunch of information. 
the mind boggles. Here's what's crazy. Satoshi Nakamoto, that they actually hold around 1.1 million Bitcoins. 1.1 million Bitcoins. Do some calculations, you get roughly 73 to 74 billion dollars. That's a lot. So why don't you let us know down below whether you think this theory is true. Is Satoshi Nakamoto Steve Jobs? Is the guy who created Apple the guy that created Bitcoin? Let us know down below. Stay tuned for the next video. I release videos every week on all things tech. We'll see you then.